Long range uh, cameras from uh, the Edwards Air Force Base facility, Dryden Flight Research Center, as uh, Atlanta crosses the coastline approaching from the west. 140 miles from the landing site, altitude 107,000 feet, traveling 3,000 miles per hour, time to touch down, eight minutes. Atlantis, take air data. Processing air data through air data probes on the nose uh, of the orbiter, uh, providing uh, real-time atmospheric conditions to the onboard guidance system. Atlantis is now uh, six and a half minutes from landing at uh, Edwards Air Force Base. Altitude 81,000 feet, traveling 1,700 miles per hour. Atlantis is uh, falling at a rate of 260 feet per second. Uh, guidance uh, now navigating uh, Atlantis toward the uh, imaginary heading alignment circle. That will set up for the uh, final approach to landing on runway 22, which is the northeast to southwest approach uh, to the runway. energy approaching the hack update to your winds they've picked up to one five peak two one right down the runway touchdown two nine hundred at two oh five nominal shoot copy nominal shoot twenty nine hundred at two oh five that's a good read back that uh Call updating uh, Commander Scott Altman on the uh, expected uh, weather winds at touchdown right down the runway as uh, the orbiter approaches the heading alignment uh, circle. About four and a half minutes to landing. Atlantis is traveling 730 miles per hour altitude, 50,000 feet. The commander uh, Scott Altman now flying Atlantis. as the crew uh, sees it through the forward uh, windows of the orbiter through the head heads up display the twin uh, sonic booms heralding the arrival of Atlantis to the uh, landing site time to touch down three minutes 
Altitude 34,000 feet, traveling 560 miles per hour. Atlantis, on at the 180. Copy, Houston, on at the 180. Pilot Greg Johnson now flying Atlantis. The orbiter is halfway around the heading alignment circle to line up with runway 22. The northeast to southwest approach end of uh, runway 2204. And Commander Scott Altman now uh, flying Atlantis the rest of the way. Time to touch down two minutes. Atlantis on at the 90. Houston, Atlantis copies. On at the 90. Altitude 12,000 feet. Houston Atlantis, field in sight at 10,000 feet. Copy, field in sight. Seven thousand feet. Four thousand feet. Two thousand feet. Commander Scott Altman beginning to uh, flare out the uh, vehicle, pitch the nose up as he approaches uh, runway two two from the northeast. Three hundred feet. Uh, landing gear down. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis is rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, completing 197 orbits of the Earth while traveling 5,276,000 miles. This landing marks the 53rd shuttle mission to end at Edwards Air Force Base. Atlantis spent seven days servicing the Hubble Space Telescope that included five spacewalks, totaling a record 37 hours. Atlantis has completed its 30th mission and the 126th in the history of the Space Shuttle program. The Hubble Space Telescope's final servicing mission is complete, but its mission of discovery is just beginning. Atlantis, congratulations on a very successful mission, giving Hubble a new set of eyes that will continue to expand our knowledge of the universe. Thank you, Houston. It was a thrill from start to finish. We've had a great ride. It took a whole team across the country to pull it off. 
Our hats are off to you all. Thank you so much. There are no post-landing deltas. We'll meet you on page 5-3 of the entry checklist.